How's it going everybody and welcome back to the Yukon. We're up here at our mine and we are just got done eating some lunch, made a few phone calls. Unfortunately we didn't have any luck finding anybody who had a cat for uh, for sale so it looks like we're not going to be able to get a dozer right now. But uh, we can still go ahead and move dirt into our sluice and hopefully we'll make enough gold that we can possibly buy one here soon. So uh, big gold today, move as much dirt as possible. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. All right, so I think the big thing today, we're gonna go ahead and start moving some dirt here. Um, we got some lunch, made a few phone calls, and uh, things been going good. So we just need to get as much of this stream pay moved into our sluice as possible. So I looked around at a few different options. Looks like we got stuck on something right there. No big deal. Um, well, like I was saying, I moved, looked around at a couple different options of some uh, dozers to try and push this dirt here. I think once we get enough money to get a dozer, we'll probably get a uh, conveyor system. That way we can just push, push dirt over to our conveyor. But right now, it looks like this is going to be the best method. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. I've also been looking around at some different areas over here and uh, I've really been wanting to get a core sample of that ground over there beside me because I'm thinking if we get enough money I'd like to buy that land over there across the water clear out those trees would be really good for logging and also uh, I think we can just strip into that I think there's quite a bit of pay over there underneath that so we may look into that later on see if that's a possibility I know it's uh, it is up for sale right now so hopefully we can get it yeah it's funny man I've called about everybody I knew I could call um, I called old man river farm mining over there he uh, the one I bought the mine from, he said he doesn't have a dozer. And he knew of a couple other guys gave me their number, but apparently they didn't have anything either. They're using all theirs. They don't have any ones that they're willing to get rid of. So I have a feeling we're probably going to have to buy one new. We'll keep a lookout in the store, though. They do have a use section down here where people trade in old equipment for new equipment, which could start happening around, like, you know, mid-April into May because people are going to be getting up here getting their mind set up and running and going. Um, so you never know. We may be able to find something that can work. But All right. Well, it looks like uh, we're going to be doing this for a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead, speed it up, get a few buckets in here, get it stacked up and ready for this evening. And, uh, we're going to go ahead and speed that up for you guys, so uh, hope you enjoy the time lapse. Until then.
That was quite an extended time lapse, but uh, I think we're good to go ahead and get our first uh, clean out. So we'll let that roll and uh, we'll hang out, grab some breakfast, and uh, see where we're at. Well, we got us some breakfast, and uh, while we were doing that, let's see if we got anything down here to show for it. Oh, looky there. All right, so looks like we're about to run out of pay, too, so well, it's only 28 kilograms. We should carry that guy. Not too bad, which is weird, because 100 ounces of gold should only be about 3 kilograms. I guess the pallet weighs quite a bit, though. Yeah, pallet probably weighs a couple kilos, so. All right, not too bad. 
Well, guys, I guess it's time for our first payday. I wonder how much we're gonna get for this guy. Let's go ahead, take it down to the bank and see what we can get for this. Now, I know that they told me how to get to the bank and I'm pretty sure I can make it. So I come down out here. I was told to head out this way. And once I hit the railroad tracks, there's like a road next to it. We just follow the railroad tracks all the way across the big river. Take a left and the first right. And you'll see the town, I guess, as we come over the river. Let's make sure we don't get by a train. There's no crossing around here. I guess this is wide enough we can drive on it, so let's go ahead and follow this out. Now, I'm hoping we get, you know, pretty good prices for this. We should get somewhere in the range of about 200000 This is 100 ounces, um, so we got just over 100 ounces, but we went ahead and bottled up 100 of it. Got it ready to go. We're going to go over here and sell it. Now, I think what we'll probably do with this is we'll go ahead and get a dozer and start moving, pushing that dirt over towards the sluice and uh, as much of it as we can anyways. And then we'll go ahead and start maybe looking into a uh, conveyor type system. And well, that's pretty cool over here. So that way we can just stack it up and hopefully just feed the sluice continuously. Um, that'll definitely save us a lot of time. We won't have to bucket as much of dirt. And that would make my life a lot easier, especially in a one man, uh, organization right now all right well here's the big river and yeah I see the town over there so um, whoa they need to put up a guardrail right there that is uh, yeah, that's one heck of a drop-off, man. Probably should have put a guardrail along that road there. These roads out here, man, I tell you, I guess they're just made. All right, here comes the train. We'll let that go by. Moving pretty good, too, so keep an eye out for this. All right. And I was told this is the town that has the baseball stadium over here, too. So maybe during the summer uh, we can join a rec league or something, get over here and play a little ball. It'll be kind of fun. We have a little time. We're going to be working the mine and we're solo, so it may be pretty tough to do that, but eh, it was something we could look into. Yep, yeah, there's a ball field there. That's a nice ball field. All right, and the bank is right here on the right. So let's see how much we can get for our gold. 203,524, not bad for 100 ounces of gold, right? Just over $2,000 an ounce. So I'll take that. That's pretty good. Now we have a little bit of cash flow. We can look at a piece of equipment maybe get us something a little bit better so let's run down by the uh, farm store and uh, take a look and see what they got in stock I'd really like to get a dozer if possible um, and a conveyor so we'll go check that out I want to mind getting a trailer as well um, just to move our equipment around and as we progress forward I think we'll probably need a trailer so I tell you what though, this is beautiful landscape out here, man. There's nothing more beautiful than looking at these just gorgeous mountains. Can't beat it. Alright. Yeah, we go up here. We gotta cross back over the river because I think the store is just over that way. And I'm pretty sure we can get back to our mine this way.
Yeah, I think we can. Looks like we got some tar pits down there. Maybe some oil fields. That's interesting. I think we can go this way. Let's check it out and see. I don't know. I may get lost here, but we'll see. I'm sure we'll find our way eventually. Oh, that is a windy road. Okay, that was uh, scary. I'll have to remember that one. Wow, that was uh, quite frightening coming up over the top of that hill. Yeah, there's a store all the way down there, so I think we can follow this road all the way there, as long as we don't scream off into the river there. All right, so something good, something small. Uh, it doesn't have to be anything crazy for a cat. I think I saw one in there for 140. Um, that would still leave us 100,000 for operating costs and you know, anything else we might need. Uh, maybe a good trailer as well. And then I wanna look at, if possible, getting a hold of that property next to me. I think they had it listed for just under 100,000 and it's quite a few acres. I'm not sure, we'll have to look and see how much it is. Maybe I'm mistaken. Ooh, that was really close to going in the river right there. We gotta be careful here. There's a big lake on the left and a big river on the right. All right, let's uh, get over here and we'll take a look and see what they got available. All right, so. Let's see here, trailers. I think that's one of the things we want to get. First, let's look for a dozer. Um, what do we, what's this company having? Let's see here. They've got this guy for 150. Now that's not bad. That's a pretty good looking cat right there. sure that would move some dirt around and it's got the rake buck as well that's really kind of nice all right so 150 for that guy what else they got um i think that's about it man that d6 would be sweet but uh yeah i don't i don't think we're gonna get to uh, we don't want to spend everything on our dozer we want something that can work or you know another thing we could do not worth it. I was going to say, we could get a uh, big wheel loader with a bucket on it so we could move a bunch more dirt. But I think uh, I think the plan of getting a dozer is probably the best option to go with. So let's see what these guys have in stock. They just have the D10. I think there was some more in here. Let's see what down here looks like. Yeah, there's a cat there for 140. Now, honestly, I think the other one for 150 is probably a better deal, um, just for the sheer weight of it. Um, you can put a winch on this one. I'm not sure. What's this? That'd be kind of good. Basically, it's a leveler. It's used to move chaff. I'm sure it can move dirt. Let's see. Um, that D7 is a little too expensive for us, but it has nice blades for it. I like that rake blade, too. It's kind of nice. All right, so I think what we'll do, let's go ahead and get... Um, I believe it was that other company that had it. Let's see what they got. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I think this uh, 953 right here is probably going to be our best bet. Yeah, D6 is too, too much, and anything over that is going to be super expensive, especially a D11. That's almost a million dollar machine, or three quarter of a million dollar machine. So um, uh, let's just check one more time and make sure. There's a little loader. That's kind of cool. I don't think we need it, though. Yeah, we don't really need that. Um, all right, well, let's get us this guy, and then we got to find a trailer to put it on. Now, yeah, 
I think this will work nice. Let's get a little cat, 953 Delta. Good looking. All right, so that's 150. So that takes us down to just about 100. So let's find us a nice trailer. Now, I really want to get a... Um, Hmm. I wonder if one of these low loaders would be good. See what else we got trailer wise. We're going to need a trailer to tow it over there. You think we could get that up on one of these? I know we ain't driving it back, that's for sure. Maybe we could put it up on this guy. And go with some. Yeah, I like those. And then ramps, yes, we'll need those. Decks, steel, and I kind of want to go with a gooseneck, I think. Yeah, I think I like the gooseneck. That would probably be better. Uh, put a little more weight in the back of the truck. All right, and so that's 19,000. We'll go ahead and get that guy. Okay. And... See what else do we got here? Um, let's see what else were we looking at? So we got a trailer, we got a cat. Oh, yeah, we need the uh conveyor. I think that's something else we were gonna look at. Hey, we could buy a barge. Uh, that's pretty cool logging equipment. See what else we got in here. We got, I think this is the one we're looking at right here. It's a pretty good high dump there for, it's got 40,000 liters. We got any other buckets for sale? Nope, just harvesters. Okay, so what are these? That does grass. Interesting. Uh, silage fork or buck rake. All right, so yeah, let's go ahead and get one of these bad boys as well. All right. Very nice. So I think we can go ahead and uh, load up the trailer. And they should have pulled everything around behind us here. Let's take a look. Yep, there it is. All right, let's go ahead and get over here, get our uh, trailer hooked up to the truck, get the ramps down, and see if we can't fit both of these pieces on there. I think we should be able to. So, good. All right, very nice. All right, I say we get the cat on first if we can. Let's do that. Oh. Cat, please. Here we go. And we should be able to get this guy on. Let's see here. My bad. Go up the ramps here. It will. And I'd really like to keep his weight off the tongue if possible. Um, weight would be better suited. Yeah, we're running over the rails there. So I guess we'll just go ahead and put him forward all the way uh, to the headache rack here. There we go. And then I think this thing will drive up on here yeah I think it will 
It's going to be tight, but I think we can back it up on there. Roll it up on there. Get the wheel straight here. Let's see if we can get up here. Uh, we can turn it sideways, angle it on here. Let's see. Um, close maybe we can shove it the rest of the way let's see just shove it the rest of the way on there maybe uh, I think it'll ride like that maybe let's see I think that'll ride. Can we get a strap on it? Let's see. Yeah, we got straps on her. So, get straps all the way across. I think we can put the gate up. I think that'll ride. So, um, yeah, let's give her a shot there and see. And, yep, rinse came up. We're looking good. And, yeah, that'll ride just fine right there. So, no worries. We can get, at least get it home. And that'll be good. So let's uh, get back to the mine. And I think we'll probably call it a day there, gentlemen. This has been a very productive day. We got our first clean out. Um, I think I know one different way back to the mine. So I'm going to take that. So we got our first clean out today. Uh, we made a little over 200K. We had to spend it on some equipment but i think this equipment is going to make a huge difference you know um being able to get that dirt over to the sluice a little bit faster will be a really good thing and then uh having something to feed the sluice quite frequently will be really good too because all we'll have to do now is just uh get that pay dirt over to the conveyor system and it should feed the sluice just fine so I'm really happy with where we got to today. I know there was a lot of bucking in there and uh, a couple of time lapses, but hopefully things will start to pick up now that we got a little bit better way to make money and we'll start pouring dirt through that sluice. And I tell you what guys, we're on track. Let's see, it took us about a day and a half to get a hundred ounces. So yeah, we're on track to make that about 300 to 350 ounces this month. If we can keep that sluice running. So, we go right here yeah this is our hill that's the mine up there i think this comes down to our bridge so it should anyways yep looking good would you look at that view coming in i'm really excited i think we're probably gonna go ahead and keep our uh front loader though the little mini one we had it's pretty good for getting in those small spaces out there in the stream uh, we'll probably try and make uh, a couple hundred thousand more, get some more land, um, start ripping into it, and then possibly uh, open up a cut on the other side of the water there and expand the operation a little bit. So I, th I think that's kind of our future where we need to go with it. I'm really thinking there's some more gold over there. But first, we got to get all this stream payout, get it processed, and see how much money we can make and kind of go from there. So. All in all, a really good day, guys. I think uh, I think we're in a really good spot. So I'm going to go ahead and call it there. I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. And uh, come back next time to see uh, how much money we can make in April going into May. Hope you guys have a royal day. Until next time, take care.